fight. All right, boys. Well, let's 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 chill, relax, Max, and get in there, boys. So we're playing more of a cat's really gnarly Pokemon themed levels. They're really really fun. Um, I'm continually impressed by the production value and all that. And I'm just gonna we're just gonna sit back and um and do some uh little variety powwow here. So earlier you saw me go through the bug forest, the rock gym, Mount Moon, which was awesome by the way, and now we're on the water gym. So Kanto Mario Water Gym. A beautiful gym with flowing water and blooming flowers. Sounds good to me. Let's check it out. And what's funny is I was seeing earlier, some of these levels have like a three minute world record. And I'm like, dang, that's going to be pretty epic, actually. Oh, wait, that's not it. Okay, all right. Um, oh, you want to... Uh, I already messed up here. All right, wait, let me get a redo. Let me get a redo. Okay, or not. All right, I'm just gonna, we're going to YOLO. Okay, okay, all right, all right. So, I grab this, leap. I had one task just to fall on the thing. <laughs> okay, okay, this is, dude, the, uh, this is so cool. Jump. Dude, I felt, wow, I fell on the gap again. I, I need to, React to where I need to, where I'm going, not where I am. That again. Let's see here. Up here and then. That. All right, I got the little ones right here. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. I'm I am like super dead unless I can go under. Yeah, it it is Mario Maker 2 swimming. That might have been possible in Mario Maker 1, but like I'm telling y'all, y'all don't own Mario Maker 2. That is uh, swimming in this game is actually like super age. I'm gonna also put it, dude. Like, ugh, God, I hate it. Tight. They won't hear no my pain. I feel like whenever I'm complaining about swimming in Mario Maker 2, everyone's just like, well, well, dude, your try X man, get good, bro. Like, do y'all understand how, how dumb swimming is in this game? Does anyone feel my pain? Doki Doki dinner, what's up? No, no, it's not even water levels, dude. It's literally swimming in the game. Like, you don't have to have a water level to feel the wrath of how dumb swimming is. I should I didn't trust it. I didn't trust it. I should have trusted it. Look, look, okay. So look, I, I get that certain things you'll never understand because you haven't played the game. And and you may be reflecting upon how swimming works in Mario in Super Mario World 1 for Super Nintendo. Or Mario Maker 1 from four from four or five years ago. And I totally get that. I get that this is one of those things where I have to like I can only tell you how it feels rather than you can reflect upon how you know how it feels to you yourself right it's similar to me like complaining about you know wi-fi lag when playing smash online like it sucks a special oh fuck uh, it sucks a special kind of ass can 
Can I tell y'all a um, funny fact here? Trying to, um, uh, boo boo baba, thank you for the uh, 54 months. Speaking of eating ass. I'm, wait, why, why did I even say that? I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> I think I have like a funny thing I was gonna say about that and I kind of made it awkward now. <laughs> anyways, anyways. Um, having to dribble this um, enemy right here. No, I was gonna try to make it like a funny segue, but I couldn't think of like how to make that like not, uh, I couldn't think of anything in time. I was going for a set, but I didn't have anything there. Because I said it sucked a special kind of ass. I couldn't think of like how to make that, uh, how to make that work. All right, okay, I'm up here. But, um, you know, I already lost something out. Right. This, 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 this. Okay, we're back here. Okay. One, two, three, four. Hello. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god, dude. I got one task, and that's it, and I, and I would get it. So I was gonna say this earlier, when I was, um, when you saw me pushing the big Goomba, uh, that, that kind of feels as coordinated as, oh. As, like, my, um, have y'all ever, have y'all ever wondered about, like, you know those, like, racially reinforced tropes, like, all black people are good at basketball? Every black person is actually a good drummer, low-key. White people love mayonnaise unconditionally. I gotta keep... That swimming is so much slower there, dude. Well, I gotta tell you, dude, I'm I'm actually awful at basketball. Uh, I am I am particularly pathetically bad at dribbling. When my uh, my dad tried really hard to get me into sports um, as a kid, because he... Because both him and my... Dude, okay, I need to, like... This is, like, misleading right here big time. White people do love mayo. I mean, look, I, I, look, look. It is true, but I mean, it's like, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. White folks, y'all be walling out, y'all be walling out on on the mayo at Subway, dude. Like, can I get a little dab? And it's just like, <clears throat> and that, and that mayo gun just going, going crazy, dude. I'm like. Dude, I said a dab. Like, I didn't say a little because you're gonna give me a, you're gonna give me about half a pound of that shit. I said a little dab, like a little. You know what a dab is? A dab. A little dab. You know, you get. Is that good enough? And it's like, damn, I got I got more mayo than bread now. But thank you. Yeah, that was that was sick. That was sick. Anyways, though, the uh, oh, and and time. Mayo mayo is bottom tier. Let's be real here. Like um, but yeah, I was I was really bad at um. I was really bad at sports, let it be known. Like, uh, I do enjoy working out now, and uh, I wish my grandfather was able to see how far I'd come because he was never around to see me. He was never alive whenever I got into working out at uh, 25 years old. Um, and, you know, and I, obviously I love it and all that stuff now here. And it sucks that I'll never get that chance to, like, bond with him over that because while I miss him obviously uh and he was in the best health out of my four grandparents uh he passed first because he had a uh, intestinal complications that the doctors neglected to take surgery on they were going to do it the following day but then he like um passed in his sleep overnight because of uh he had um um congestion that uh wasn't passing because of some some complications of his dig digestion or whatever Anyways, that's like it's all like too much information here. The, the point, the point being that like he was a super duper outdoorsy guy. He was fishing, hunting, okay, Kona. He had, he had, I kid you not, like twenty bloodhounds that he would go hunting with. Um, dude was a uh, uh, open-minded, top-notch, very disciplined, and very patient because 
my dad and my grandfather are both very much nothing like me. I was an indoor kid. I played a lot of video games. Back when video games were considered unproductive and all that, he was very patient with me. You know, he, he knew I was good with computers. He didn't get it. But unlike my dad, I never got, I never really got shit from him about it. He just kind of like understood that maybe I was different or my generation was different. And he was okay with that. You know, uh, I felt very judged by my dad. I never felt judged by my grandfather. And I wish I had that chance to kind of like, you know, show him where I am now and stuff. But I don't know. That, that, that's still kind of like a, a personal thing. I haven't really like come to terms with yet. Like, how do you deal with that? Do you just like let it go? Do you just like wish things were different? You, you, you know, I, I look at it all like, you know, I wish I had that, uh, the lesson of time. I wish I had more time. I thought I had more time, honestly, with him. Uh, but he was the one that went out first. And that really made me reevaluate that, you know, there is, there is an hourglass and it is slowly ticking away here and it only goes in one direction. And you got to figure out what are your priorities, whether you are moody today or in a good mood tomorrow, whatever the fuck it may be here. That, that hourglass is ticking here, and that is a non-refundable resource, everyone in chat here. That is a, that is non-refundable, and so you got to think here. Look at, look at the, if you can think about the hourglass and look at it like as a year, a year at a time, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you think about, you know, maybe the last one year of your life as a metaphorical hourglass, and it's going down, how much of that time was spent doing things that like really mattered in the long term or for you, for, for those that you find important in your life, for your loved ones and all that. It's a, it's always good to sit back and reflect on that, you know? Ultimately, whatever you, you, you dedicated the most time to was your biggest priority. With all that in mind, yeah, I was a terrible basketball player. I always double dribbled. I don't think I ever learned how to properly dribble. I probably couldn't do so now if I wanted to, honestly. Me and a basketball, just like, I think I super suck at basketball. And honestly, it's so intimidating for me. Like, I'd have to, like, a speedrunner in me would want to, like, really work on, like, the tech skill first before I even felt, before I even, I wouldn't even have fun playing basketball until I was the minimum level competent in the, look, in the tech skill of basketball. And even the fact that I'm telling you, like, how I would approach a yard can see my outlook on the whole thing here. Which is that if I can't be like adequate at it, I probably won't enjoy being terrible at it ultimately. <laughs> so it's just like this really, really weird thing. But I just want you to know that I'm, I'm bad at dribbling. I miss my grandfather and I was bad at sports as a kid. And I have found a passion through um, personal potential in working out and making me better at everything I do through being physically active, which is what I, which is what I really, really enjoy. And I don't know, there wasn't really a point here other than like, you know, that's why. A little bit of real talk there.